appeals court has just handed a win to USA Powerlifting in its legal battle with a transgender athlete. The Minnesota Court of Appeals judge siding with the powerlifting organization, sending that case back to a trial court to determine whether the trans athlete at the center of the lawsuit was indeed discriminated against because of her gender identity. The appeals court decision marking a huge victory in the fight for save women's sports and those advocating for that. Larry Mail is the president of USA Powerlifting joining us here. Thank you so much for coming on. Larry, for those that may be unfamiliar uh, with, with what happened with your sport specifically, the discrimination lawsuit, can you give us a background here with trans athlete J.C. Cooper and uh, USA Powerlifting? Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, essentially, it's been a long run for us that started with the Minnesota Human Rights Commission. And the allegations were that we discriminated against Ms. Cooper based on transgender status, which is far from the truth, actually. We did a thoughtful evaluation of our data, and, and it proved, at least in powerlifting, that men and women are substantially different and fundamentally their inclusion in the women's division represents unfair competition for women who are born that way. And so again, a transgender athlete, a biological male wanted to compete in the women's division. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, and you've got a lot of experience uh, in this sport, Larry. Uh, can you talk to us about the differences when it comes to how much, in, in your experience, men can lift compared to women and why that might create an unfair advantage for a biological male. And in fact, we studied this specifically. And the question we had to ask are, are men and women really different? And if they're not, then inclusion makes sense. But what we found in examining 17,000 cases worldwide of powerlifting is that men are about 60% stronger than women. And that's a, a gulf that just can't be overcome by hormone reduction or, or what have you. Um, having matured and gone through puberty as a male makes you substantially different than, than a woman. And you can't fix that. And really quickly before we go, Larry, this has been a, not just an issue there, uh, as clearly written out by uh, playing out in court, it is an issue indeed, but it's been an issue in, in women's sports for volleyball, for swimming, um, the list goes on. Um, the, the broader picture uh, in, in terms of biological men competing with women or vice versa, um, where do you see this going? Do you see this this uh, court uh, decision as a win for USA Powerlifting, uh, for, for, for women? How do you read that? I think that you have to put it in the context of a sort of a larger movement to look at this issue in and of itself. But I, I see this as a win, and the win for us is that the appeals court clearly said by majority decision you have to go back and look at this based on the science, and it isn't on its face discrimination. There may well be physiological reasons why USA Powerlifting made this decision. And, and I think also, in a larger sense, how the court treats us in Minnesota and how Minnesota addresses this really will have a lot to do with what the pushback is going to be nationally. We're a part of a national sort of examination of this issue. And, if we are treated unfairly by the court in Minnesota, I think there will be backlash really across the country. All right. There is the outcome there. Larry Mail joining us with that. Uh, Larry, thank you so much for joining National Report.